Guys, today we're taking a look at the most significant Travis Scott sneaker to date. Typically, anything Travis Scott is insanely hyped, so we need to figure out if these are actually any good. So here we have the box, and this is a very clear highlight for this pair of shoes. The box and the packaging is pretty outstanding. We've got three lines on the top, which is a signature Travis Scott thing. A Jumpman on the side. We've got Jack with the Jumpman logo on the top. And overall, this box is solid compared to what we typically get from Jordan Brand. As you pop the top, you get uh, that Cactus Jack branding on the side, which is pretty cool. You're also met with the first of the added extras, which is this little tote bag both the Cactus Jack branding and of course the Jumpman. Feels pretty decent, it's a nice color. So let's pull out today's sneakers, guys. This is the Travis Scott Jumpman Jack. Yeah, and the second of the added extras that you get in here is a bunch of different lace options. So you've got sail, you've got this trail inspired white and brown, and then you've got just solid brown laces. Oh yeah, and we're inside for this one today because my regular B-roll spot is completely underwater at the moment. Here we have the sneaker, the first ever Travis Scott signature shoe. So this is the first Travis Scott shoe that's not an already existing Nike or Jordan model. Though I will say that this pair of shoes does have a lot of similarities to previous collaborations Travis Scott has done with Nike and Jordan brand. For example, the Travis Scott trainer. But before we get into all of that, uh, release details. So these had a very limited shock drop on the Travis Scott website during Grammy night. Literally just a couple hundred pairs and obviously they sold out in seconds. And that spiked the resale price on these things to currently be around two to three grand. There is some good news. There is supposed to be another wider release for this specific colorway that should be taking place on March the 5th. So that'll be through the Nike sneakers app and potentially even some other retailers. So considering it's a Travis Scott collaboration and his first signature sneaker, do not think that these are going to be easy to get. They're still going to be very tough. They retail at $200, which definitely is pretty steep, but I guess you get good packaging and some added extras. So the day after these things had that shock drop, uh, Jordan Brand did post a full-on trailer for this shoe. And in that trailer, Travis Scott basically said that this is an everything shoe. Performance athlete, on and off court, acting, hiking, moving, running, raging, working out. I'm doing it all. I personally cannot imagine running or hiking in this pair of sneakers. These are easily a very good lifestyle shoe that will have a lot of practical crossover. But I honestly think that the best way to describe the Travis Scott Jumpman Jack is that it's a combination of all of the other previous Travis Scott sneaker collaborations. The materials you get on here are actually pretty nice. So let's start with the leather. It feels pretty soft. It's all over tumbled. Really speaking, feels decent quality, at least comparing it to what we're used to having from Jordan brand. I really like what they did with the toe box leather, how they kind of tucked it underneath so it has this really clean look. There's no raw edges or anything like that. It just gives this whole toe box a very clean look. The strap you get on here is also leather, which feels pretty nice and soft. And that has some kind of, I don't know, embroidered hieroglyphs on there. Apart from the leather, you get the base material, which is all over brown canvas, and that feels pretty decent. I know that other Jordan brand sneakers, people tend to not like canvas, and that's usually for durability reasons, but because this is a darker brown color, a lot of the dirt is not going to show up as much as a lighter color would. Find that canvas around the toe box, the medial and lateral sides, and around the ankle area. The tongue on here has one of my favorite little details. You've got uh, the Jumpman logo, except now you have the Travis Scott three lines on top of his head, which is like super subtle, but it is a nice nod to the collaboration. Of course, 
almost this wouldn't be a Travis Scott sneaker without the reverse swoosh which you find on the lateral side of the sneaker in all over sale and around on the medial side you've got the same Nike swoosh just in its regular orientation it's also slightly smaller you also get the Travis Scott emoji around the back of the shoe just embroidered in red which is something that we've seen on a lot of the Jordan ones just above that you do get a little piece of suede which I thought was pretty interesting design wise because it's not stitched down to the shoe it's just kind of there as a little flappy piece feels insanely soft though speaking of interesting design choices uh, the outsole is pretty crazy first off it's unlike any other Jordan or Nike shoe I have ever seen kind of looks like super dry crackled earth with a bunch of different lines and grooves cut out into it and of course you get this huge jack text on the bottom as well and I assume this jack text is painted on there because inside the box it has a little label on the paper basically saying that this text is going to wear off over time I don't know how long it's gonna take for this to wear off I've been wearing it around for a couple days it hasn't worn off at all during the time I've been wearing these I do think it's kind of hilarious how Jordan brand makes it seem like the wearing off of this jack text is some kind of special feature with this shoe the insoles on these things is also pretty cool it kind of matches the outsole it's just a lot more visible because it's a contrast in colors so again that kind of crackled swirly effect which uh, yeah it is pretty nice so what do these feel like on foot walking around in them I thought it was pretty interesting because I feel like they're very similar to a pair of Jordan ones because they're so flat and low to the ground they might feel slightly wider than a pair of Jordan ones but you do of course get this strap which helps for extra adjustability and obviously lockdown I thought it was actually very useful because I found these to run a little bit big I went with my true to size and I had a little bit of room in the toe box so honestly I would recommend going a half size down with these so if your true to size was the only one that you could get your hands on then it should be fine because you can adjust this strap and make it feel perfectly fine now one thing I immediately noticed pulling them out of the box and wearing them on foot was that there's not that much ankle padding that was one of the bigger surprises they feel pretty thin around the ankles however even despite that this does end up being quite a comfortable pair of shoes and it's certainly not revolutionary these do fall into the same category as a pair of Jordan ones or dunks in terms of their comforts you're getting a pretty solid midsole minimal cushioning around the ankle area however I'm not gonna lie these do feel a lot more comfortable than a pair of Jordan ones and dunks they are just in that same category don't expect to step in these things and thinking because they said it's a running shoe it feels like a running shoe it doesn't running. I did mention that design wise there is a lot of other Travis shoes in this pair of sneakers I think the first one that came to my mind was the Jordan one not only because this comes in a very similar colorway the reverse mocha colorway it's just a little bit of a darker brown for the Jumpman Jacks even the toe box layout seems relatively similar like I said it's also got a similar feel to a pair of Jordan ones on foot as well however the shape and the strap definitely is inspired by the Travis Scott trainer collaboration this Jumpman Jack is a lot of a lower cut compared to a regular trainer I think you could definitely argue that there's also some Nike dunk in here maybe even some Air Force one as well and honestly the way that they put this all together I think is pretty cool at least design wise I'm pretty happy that Travis Scott is working on something that's not just a Jordan one despite what you think of this pair of shoes it is kind of nice that they're doing something different and it does mark a significant time for Travis Scott to be able to have his own signature line with Jordan brand that's something that Yeezy had with Adidas and that was massively popular and people really appreciated how interesting and unique the designs were something that Virgil Abloh was working on with Nike although unfortunately we only got to see the first and the last of his own signature sneaker model with the Terraforma so I'm excited to see what this sneaker brings it is the first of hopefully many different unique and interesting designs I mean we've already seen a ton of different colorways on this sneaker model alone some of those colorways are even going to be dropping this year we've even got a second new model from Travis Scott with the shark adult and I guess while we're on the topic of new colorways I will have to just mention that this is probably my favorite colorway out of the ones that we've seen I just hope that they're not going to make this the most limited one because it is the launch colorway it looks great on foot and I think these are going to be a banger for the summertime quite a versatile sneaker in terms of the outfits that you could put together overall I think this is a solid pair of shoes it's relatively lightweight it does kind of fill that gap of like a retro looking Nike shoe that can be used for a bunch of different applications very practical I think they did it well it's a good crossover model but is it worth the hype well are any of Travis Scott sneakers worth the hype let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and if you want to find out more about the future colorways of this sneaker click on that video over there